What is going on everybody? My name is Javes and welcome to uh, something that I haven't done in ages. I think I originally called it back in FIFA 11 Wasted Wednesdays and that's where I go out on Wednesdays once the new team of the week is released and I uh, open some packs, have a little fun with it, but today, you know, I've, there's Champions League. Real Madrid, Galatasaray, Malaga, Dortmund. I don't know which game to watch, so I asked you guys on Twitter, I said, guys, I need your help. Tell me which game to watch, I don't know. Most of the responses were like, well, why don't you just watch both of them? And that's probably what I'll end up doing. But before that, I decided as I'm waiting, I'm going to kick back, open a, uh, open a beer, and uh, open some packs uh, with you guys as the new team of the week's out. There's some pretty darn good looking cards out there. I'm going to clear my tray pile real quick. And, uh, yes, a lot of that Brazil. So I played in my live stream yesterday. I played with a lot of the Brazilvers. In my most humble opinion, of course, they are absolutely and undoubtedly not anywhere close to what you pay for them. Um, some of them maybe, maybe are worth it. Most of them, probably not. I should have actually kept that Yilmaz, and I'm going to tell you why. Because if that, if Yilmaz scores today, and if he scores a great goal versus Real Madrid, people are going to go out onto the market, and they're going to say, you know what card I want? I want Barack Yilmaz, and I want him on my team right now. So there, if you have informed Galatasaray players such as Yilmaz, I don't know if there are any other informs, but if they pull a shock upset and uh, kind of crush Real Madrid, Guess people are gonna want to play with Galatasaray. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna open some gold packs. The silvers this week are good as well, so maybe I'll get into some of those after this as well. But it's kind of been a little while since I've just uh, kind of sat back, chatted, and uh, gotten super frustrated with the absolute nonsense that you get in packs. I'm gonna end up just keeping. I should. I'm gonna store as much stuff in my consumable pile to begin with as I possibly can. Now that's because on Wednesdays. Everybody is out there buying packs and everybody, you know, there are loads and loads of people that are doing exactly what I'm doing right now and that is trying to get packs. Now the Manchester United badge might sell for a little bit, but I'm valuing my spot in my trade pile a little bit more than the Manchester United badge and you guys are going to say, well what do you mean by that? And that's, I think there's a chance that I might get a better item or a better player to fill up my trade pile that the United badge theoretically could be taking up space. Now Vargas I think he'll sell for more. I could sell him for, actually... What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to keep him. All the players that I don't have, I'm going to probably keep if I think they're going to sell because I'll be able to sell them on at a later date for a, uh, a higher value. Even the lower ones. You know, Vargas, today he's going to go for no more than 650, 700 coins. I suppose we're doing a little FIFAnomics with it as well. And uh, that's because he's he is rare, so his discard value is somewhere around 600, but... He uh, is still a decent left uh, left mid in the Serie A. Now, there are going to be lots of packs open. There are going to be lots of Vargas's on the market today. So you're not going to need to pay more than 650 coins. However, if you list him overnight... Oh, that's all right. All right. An 84 rated Diego Melito. I haven't used him on this game yet, so I'll have to give him a shot. And Jonathan always will sell. However, he's almost a better example. Jonathan sells for maybe a couple thousand. Today he's going to go way down to more like that thousand mark. I'm Now I'm guessing what he sells for. I'm not totally sure on that. But because he's a fast Brazilian right back, chances are he sells for a couple thousand coins. And uh, right forward to right wing, do I want that? Probably not. Ooh, those are kind of cool kits. Let's make... Oh, no. Oh, these yellow and green kits from Plymouth are my absolute favorites. But let's try these out. We'll switch things up. Do a little switcher route into Telecom. Um... But, uh, so if I sell Jonathan on overnight, and when I say overnight, overnight's one of my favorite trading terms ever. And that's because that's when there are the fewest amount of cards on the market. Now, there are still people out there playing Ultimate Team, so when there's less of a supply on the market, and obviously there's less of a demand as well, but people are impatient. They don't want to wait for open bids to come through. So what do they do? They just go for buy nows, and the cheapest buy now on the market wins. So chances are I'll be able to sell them on for more then than I would right now. So if you have places in your trade pile, in your consumables for some of the, you know, the formation cards, the contract cards, all that good stuff. If you have space for that, then by all means, uh, go ahead and keep them and sell them on when people aren't opening loads of packs which is Wednesday which is happy hour day and uh, it used to be Mondays as well with the season ticket packs and that you know that sort of thing but 
pretty standard stuff. We're getting absolutely nothing. I might have to uh, open a silver pack and see if my luck changes at all. Jelovic uh, or Jelovic in a 41212 will sell on. 41212 cards for the most part will almost undoubtedly sell, and he is a BPL player, so that is quite good. We're actually closing down on uh, filling up our consumable pile pretty quickly. And what you can do is if you really don't want to lose tons of coins on, you know, the contracts or if your consumable pile is filling up, you can either A, play contracts on your players, you know, make the make use of the contracts with the uh, teams that you use more than you use for, or more than the other teams that you use or the squads that you use more than the other squads you use. Or list them for low buy now so that they'll sell very quickly because there are going to be people out there right now trying to make coins on these consumables. Now, the silver non-rares probably won't sell, but I'm going to keep the rare ones in Estadio Nacional. I don't know if I've ever used this stadium. What is my active stadium? La Canchita. Let's make the Estadio Nacional our current stadium. Um, and you guys, I, actually Rangers badge might sell, so I'm going to just list it. Uh... I get asked what my stadium is a lot, and I, and this is, I don't know why, but I tend to use state, well, I do know why, I tend to use stadiums that have Spanish names or Portuguese names, and that's because more often than not, in my experience with FIFA, there's, it's sunnier weather, it's better weather when you're using stadiums that are from Spain, from Portugal, from Brazil, uh, on this game. I don't like picking English stadiums because it rains a heck of a lot, and uh, frankly, I'm just not down with the rain. I, I don't like it, it's not fun to play in. I'm sure you guys have felt the exact same thing before as well. I'm hoping for at least one good card. One, you know, it's been a really long time since I've gotten an inform. And to be honest, what would I want more than anything? I want one of the, I would want one of the, uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to list these for 200 and they should sell pretty quickly. Um, and now what I'm doing is I'm running out of room in my consumable. So I'm, I'm weighing that I think I'm going to get a squad morale or a squad fitness that I'd rather put in my consumable or a formation card that I'd rather put in my consumable versus some of the contracts. And uh, it's, I guess it's just a uh, which will give me better value in the long run is kind of the way I'm doing it. Giorgio Wijnaldum was a fan of his for the career mode. Too bad he's not in form. He probably does sell on them. So like Riera here, I'm going to keep him. Now, the only reason that I'm really going to keep, and there are going to be a lot of Rieras on the market today, Galatasaray is playing, but with the slim chance that Riera might sell for a little bit, and I'm going to do what I'm talking about, so I don't have a Wijnaldum in my club yet, but I'm going to list him for 700, his discard's like 600, so rather than discarding him, I'm going to just go ahead and list him, try to make a few coins on it. So the rare contracts will go to my club. And uh, same thing, fitness card probably will sell pretty quickly for 200. And Lucas Leva would undoubtedly sell as well. We'll list him really low, and this is just because it's better than discarding barely. And so, you know, you have a whole ton of time now that the packs have just been released. I'm going to open packs for a little while longer, maybe go down another 50,000 ish coins. Uh, and this will turn into kind of a long episode. But you can see, we we'll go to the trade pile. And we've had stuff that's sold already almost instantaneously. And it's these, you know, the fitness cards and that sort of thing. And that's fine. That's more than I would have got for discarding them if I'd left them. You know, obviously I want to sell them on at a later date. But for the most part, I'm happy getting some sort of coins back for that. So back we'll go into the store. And uh, I'll have to go probably now and search out how much the Inform Pookie and the Inform Sun are going for for my Bundesliga squad that I'm loving. All right, Messi. Open the Messi pack. Gotta be Messi in the pack. Show me some love. I'm oh. FIFA's, FIFA's trolling. They are trolling. And Bengway, I would like to say he'll sell, but I've had trouble selling him in the past. So I just found out that these will sell instantaneously for 200. I'm going to list them for 250 this time and see if they also instantly sell. If so, then I'll make a little bit more back. And this manager card, manager cards are generally harder to sell. I sell them for 300. Um, on like a day when packs are available. Abu Dhabi, he will undoubtedly sell, put him up for 400. You can see that we have plenty of room in our trade pile. So now what I'll probably start doing is just sending, now that my consumable pile is filling up, uh, I'll probably fill up my consumable pile in its entirety because I don't want to fill up my trade pile pre the consumable pile. And that is because uh, if I were to get a duplicate of one of the rare gold players that I have that's actually worth some coins, I don't want to have to discard them because I don't have space in my consumable pile. So that would be very frustrating and uh, also very, 
Yeah, very frustrating. That's exactly what I'm going for. Extremely frustrating. So, same thing with fitness. Uh, the first one sold for 200 instantly, so we're going to go ahead and list this one for just uh, 50 coins more. And then I'm going to back out, go check my trade pile, and see if uh, if all is well. And this is, I guess these are just tips if you're going on pack opening binges. Um, so, trade pile, something sold, so one of them is worth it. Lucas Leva, 400 coins, that's probably about right. So you can see these haven't sold yet. So really they're just selling for buy now 200 instantly. I could go check the market and see exactly where or how long it's taking for them to go for 250 because I'm sure they eventually will go for that. But uh, I still have plenty of room in my trade pile, so I'm really not too worried about it right now. Oh, there are a few good informs that I really kind of like to get my paws on. The informs this week that are looking tasty. I mean, obviously, you've got Aria Robin and a lot of the really, really big names that are uh, that are standing out. But I want to get my hands on the inform uh, Ricky Van Vol single. His inform last year for me was outrageously good. Um, so I definitely, definitely want to get my paws and try him out. But I don't think he'll be selling for that much, so I'm really not too fussed about that. Now this is a card, I could throw this in my consumable, so I'm gonna throw this in my trade pile. Four three one twos don't usually sell for that much, but they're gonna sell for even less today. So I'll probably hold on to that, try to sell it on over the weekend, or eventually I'll just get bored of having it in my trade pile and I'll list it up there. But over the weekend, obviously, or well, as I've said many times, is the best time to sell consumables. That's when you have the most people playing Ultimate Team. We've got Nico Gaetan. Uh, we'll keep him. 4 one 2 one 2 good formation. And uh, same thing. I'm going to just list these 200. Just want them out of my sight. And uh, sold quickly because I could see myself continuing to open packs for a little while. So this will be, be quite a long pack opening. Player 442, brilliant. Gonna just send it to the trade pile, leave it there. Probably only sells for a couple thousand, but still, nonetheless, it's gonna cut down the amount of uh, coins that I lose in this pack opening. You know, the days when uh, when I had a sponsor sponsoring the FIFA points for me, those were the good old days when I just did not care. Just discard, discard, discard. But nowadays, I'm just chilling and trying to uh, keep my coin total up. There was an 83 in there, I swear I saw it. Ah, Tim Visa. Boketti, I don't have him yet in my club, so I'm going to add him to my club for right now. Go and go ahead and sell him on for later. So you can see we're coming close and coming down to consumables. We're starting to run a little bit low. Fitness cards I'm going to sell on for 200 coins because that is, uh, that's what they were going for quickly. And you can see the trade pile will start to fill up pretty quickly if you don't get the rotating consumables out. Uh, I guess even more quickly. So Visa probably not going to sell for that much, especially on a Wednesday. List him for 700. Better than discarding him. I could have listed him for 150, but he's in a bad formation. I'd rather him just sell on quickly. Well, uh, actually, I'll go down to 400k. Uh, 1.4 million, actually, not 400k. We'll go down to that, and then I will, uh, and then I'll go clean out my trade pile again. Was that an inform? So hopeful. This is what I thought was an inform. I, the silver cards always trick me. I don't know about you guys, but anytime I see something other than gold in when they're like swooping on around, I'm thinking, hey, that's that's my inform. That's my. I'm ready to shake my money maker. And uh, maybe if I get an inform, uh, nah. Shaking shaking your money maker is something that never ever needs to be done on YouTube. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the pack opening. I know it's something, I did a little pack opening on uh, over the weekend just because I hadn't done it in a while and videos seem to go down really well. So this Mangala, I'm actually going to send him to the trade pile. I'm not going to list him. Mech says on the other hand, bad formation. I will list him. Um, but Mangala, 4 one 2 one 2 he's a pacey French defender. He will sell for a lot, especially overnight when there aren't many Mangalas listed. So I'm going to hold on to him and list him at a later date. Now, 4 one 2 and 2 formations are exceptionally good to do this with because finding 4 one 2 and 2 formation cards late night is also extremely annoying. This is pack. Oh, it's just terrible. Mm. I wonder. Oh, I don't have Gibson. He's in 3 5 2. I'll keep him just in case I ever feel like making an Irish team. That accent. Do, should I ever do the accent again? I Probably not. Probably not. That's one of those accents I kind of need to stay away from. All right, so consumable pile almost full. After this, the trade pile will also be full because I'm listing plenty of stuff from this one. We'll go ahead and we will clean it out and then we'll uh, open a few more to end a very, very uneventful thus far 
pack opening. But uh, if you guys like seeing pack openings, I'm more than happy to do them. I'm more, actually, I just kind of like chatting with you guys, you know, just talking randomly. So see, 17 sold quickly. And now I get to just keep on opening packs and wasting my coins on this lovely Wednesday, the uh, 3rd of April. So no April Fools. I should have done a, well, no. Doing a belated April Fools would just be, would just not even make sense, would it? Yeah, it wouldn't make sense at all. Hmm. I'm really hoping that Yilmaz doesn't sell pre the game because I want him to score a goal and I want to be able to sell him for uh, for a lot of money. Now some of you guys are going to go out and you're going to buy your favorite informs that are in packs. And I get asked a lot uh, via like YouTube messages and Facebook messages, Japes, I want an informed player. What is this? Gold upgrade. Oh. Japes, I want an informed player. Who, when should, when's the best time to buy the informed player? And obviously the best time is toward the end of the team of the week or just after happy hour. Because that's when there are going to be most cards on the market. Oh, this is a better pack. I see Mr. Davi Luiz over there. Anytime you get Davi Luiz in a pack and Sako, so two of the best non-rare defender or center backs in the game. So that's kind of fantastic. I'm going to hold on to them uh, and just send them to the trade pile because I will be looking for or looking to sell them on again. Same sort of thing. Oh, not list. Send a trade pile. I will be looking to sell them on in that overnight slot, that overnight category. Because I don't know about you guys, but I've tried to build teams really late into the evening before, and there just aren't as many cards on there. You end up overpaying, and I don't want to be the one overpaying. I want people to be overpaying for my cards. That's kind of where that line of thought goes. That's kind of how that reads. Is that Ronaldinho? Oh, my eyes, the vision. It's so good sometimes. Ronaldinho, Mikel Arteta. Uh, still, though, for the most part, steaming pile of mediocrity. I've never used Cleverly. I'm going to have to give him a shot. Same thing with Shalotto. But uh, still, just just terrible, terrible pack luck. Now, I'm going to keep the morale card. And if you guys are like me and you build a lot of different teams, that means you need a lot of different, or you need a lot of gold morale cards or silver morale cards. So now is a good time to go out and buy them. Pick up a ton, leave them in your club if you have the space. Alright, this might be the last pack. Under 400,000 coins. Or 1.4 million coins. Show me an inform, not a fanny. Well, uh, I could be down to see a fanny. But, uh, not, not, not FIFA related. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that's how we're going to end it. That is the last pack. I hope you guys enjoyed this little live action, uh, Having a little afternoon beer with me while we're waiting on the Champions League. Open a few packs. If this is something that you like, let me know in the comments down below. We'll be back with Path to Power tomorrow. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.